All right, welcome back everybody. Today I'm going to show you how you can make a voiceover directly in DaVinci Resolve. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. So as you can see, I've got some stock video of some animals opened up here over top of some background music. So to add a voiceover over this, what we're going to need to do is go into the Fairlight tab. From here, because audio track one is the one with our background music, I'm going to create a new track by right clicking over here click add track and because I'm just doing a simple one microphone uh, voiceover I'm going to use a mono source and then if you don't see this mixer panel opened up on the right just drag it out there is a little spot to click right here and to add the input source the first thing we need to do is actually make sure that the window settings are all correct otherwise this isn't going to work for you so what I'm going to do is hit the Windows key on my keyboard, right click on the, um, the sound settings and open that up here. So because I'm using a Motu interface, I'm going to select that as my sound output, but I'm also going to choose that as my sound input as well. So I'm going to be using my microphone inputs one and two. So that's the one that I'm going to be selecting here. If you have anything else, if you have a four or eight channel, uh, interface, select the microphone inputs that you're going to be using. If you're using a USB microphone, select it here. Just make sure that the correct one is set up and then you can close down your sound settings. If the next step isn't working for you, sometimes you have to refresh DaVinci Resolve, but because I have my computer set up to always detect these, it's just going to work for me right away. So if it doesn't work for you, restart DaVinci Resolve and come right back in to this point. So the next thing we need to do is click on the um, audio track that we created that we want to put the voiceover on. Go over to the right side and where it says no input at the top, click that and then go to your input section. From here, it should automatically populate the input sources and the destination. So because I'm going to be using microphone input number two, I'm going to select that on the left side. The left side is the source where the audio is coming from. The right side is the destination where it's going to and I want it to go to audio track two. That's the mono source that we created. We can see that the audio file, the song that I inputted is a stereo source. So it has a left and right, but I just want it as a mono source as audio track two. So that's the one I'm going to hit. And then we can click on patch and then just close that up. From there to actually start recording audio, we're going to hit this arm for record button. And then from there, we just have to hit this record button right here. Now, because I'm also recording my voiceover audio on top of this, I'm going to get a pretty bad feedback loop. There's, it's going to sound like there's a delay or an echo. So I'm only going to temporarily do this just to show you that it works. And then I'm going to very quickly shut that off because I kind of hate the sound that this gives me. So I'm just going to start by hitting the arm for record button. Test, test. test, test. Yep, we can see that it's working. And then I hit the record button, testing for the voiceover video demonstration. And then we just hit the stop button to stop recording. And we can see that it did in fact record audio and it does work. So if I wanted to play it back. Testing for the voiceover video demonstration. And there we go, it's that easy. From there, you can add on any effects that you want to. In a recent video, I showed that pretty much every VST is working with DaVinci Resolve now, whereas previously a lot of the newer ones weren't, but I managed to get pretty much everything working in here. So if you wanted to add your normal um, sound processing, so let's say you were using something like Isotopes Nectar, which I would use for my, for my voiceovers, it works audio presets work. So if you go down to here, you can see everything's running properly. And if you wanted more information, make sure to check out that video. And just as a free little bonus to everyone watching the videos, if you wanted to download some free DaVinci Resolve templates or effects, or if you need any free royalty free music, you can just follow the link below and grab it from tunesquid.com. That's my own website, it's my company. So grab it and use it however you will. And if this video was helpful, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you'd like to see in future episodes. And as always, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye now.